criminal investigation is underway in the US following the leak of thousands of classified CIA documents by the website WikiLeaks. The documents uh, that details the CIA's technical capability to carry out hacking. We'd like to thank the CIA for their gift. Now the brand new smart television. Hey everyone, my name is Yaniv Hoffman, back with another video, and this time we are diving into something that might make you think twice about your digital privacy. So in 2017, the world was rocked by the largest CIA leak in history, Vault 7. This unprecedented release of classified documents revealed that the CIA had developed a vast arsenal of hacking tools capable of compromising everything from smartphones to televisions and even vehicles. The leaks exposed how the CIA turned everyday devices into covert surveillance system. So in today's video, we are diving deep into these revelations. You will learn how tools like Whipping Angel could transform a smart TV into a hidden microphone, how the CIA exploited zero-day vulnerabilities to gain access to private communications, and how they built an entire division of elite hackers. Interested? I bet so. So let's start. So first thing first, and that's the tools. So in 2017, Wikileaks released a classified CIA manual detailing a tool known as Whipping Angel. This wasn't just an theoretical hacking tool. It was deployed in operations to turn smart devices like TVs and phones into live surveillance units, listening to private conversation in real time. But Whipping Angel wasn't just sitting in the CIA labs. It was being used in the field. Let's see what Edward Snowden said about it in an interview. Turning your phone on or off without you knowing. So for example, if it's in your pocket, they can turn the microphone on and listen to everything that's going on around you. So just as Edward Snowden revealed, these tools can be activated without user knowing, turning every device into a potential spy. Whipping Angel was primarily designed for Samsung smart TVs, but the CIA adapted it for other devices, allowing them to infiltrate secure environments like embassies, hotel rooms, and even living rooms. In 2016 counterterrorism operation in the Middle East, the CIA used similar tactics to track encrypted communications of high-valued targets. Those covert recordings led to the capture of terrorist leaders showcasing just how crucial these hacking capabilities are in the field. If you are interested to learn more about this uh, tool, Whipping Angel, I will leave the documentation in the description. Again, it came out of uh, Wikileaks as part of the Vault 7 revelation. Moving from tools to diplomatic cover, hidden behind the facade of diplomacy. So the US consulate in Frankfurt operates as a major cyber warfare hub for the CIA. Officially, it's just a diplomatic mission, but behind closed doors, CIA operatives based here carry out some of the agency's most advanced hacking operations in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Now, according to the Der Spiegel, German newspaper, the Frankfurt Consulate was not just a diplomatic post, it was used by the CIA as a cyber warfare hub. Agents launch sophisticated hacking campaigns targeting everything from foreign governments to private corporations, all from the safety of the diplomatic immunity. Let's hear Valerie Plame, a former CIA officer on diplomatic espionage. The CIA is best placed with assets and liaison relationships in place to work with not just our allies, but sometimes our enemies, to come to some understanding of how we can control these existential threats. Now, this diplomatic immunity allowed CIA hackers to move freely across the area, conducting operations in countries like France and Germany without much scrutiny. Now, according to intelligence officers, in one notable operation, the CIA operatives used malware developed in Frankfurt Consulate to infiltrate the network of a foreign telecommunications company. 
the breach gave the CIA access to call logs, private conversation, and even financial transactions, all under the veil of diplomatic protection. But that's not all, and now let's speak in the eyes in the skies. Deep in the heart of Australia's Raj Outback lies Pine Gap. Yes, the one from Netflix. It's a secretive joint US-Australian facility that's been described as America's highs and ears in the Asia-Pacific region. This sprawling complex hidden from praying highs is a key hub in the global surveillance network. So Pine Gap's massive satellite dishes pointed skyward intercept a vast array of communications from cell phone calls to military transmissions. It's not just passive listening though. Pine Gap plays a crucial role in guiding military operations, including controversial drone strikes. Let's hear David Rosenberg, a former Pine Gap employee, testimony to ABC. Pine Gap was uh, certainly one of those uh, ground sites that was collecting information on weapon systems. Where were the weapons located? What kind of communication uh, systems were out there? Pine Gap played a major role in uh, gathering intelligence and reporting intelligence as well. Interesting. And speaking about drones, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism said that the intelligence gathered to Pine Gap was instrumental coordinating drone strike leading to the elimination of high-profile targets. Okay, so we described the tools, we talked about diplomatic coverage and eyes in the skies as part of the Pine Gap. Now let's discuss the total digital surveillance. And imagine everything you do online, every click, every search, every message is logged, stored, and analyzed. That's not a disputation future. That's ex Kisco. And Edward Snowden, in his 2013 interview with The Guardian, revealed how ex Kisco allows intelligence agencies to track every action a person takes online. Quoting Snowden, he said, With ex Kisco, I could track anyone's email, browsing history, social media, essentially their entire digital life, without needing a warrant. And Glenn Greenwald, one of the journalists who helped break the Snowden leaks, explained the global scope of surveillance program like Echelon and x Score. And Greenwald said Echelon has the capability to monitor phone calls, satellite transmission, and internet traffic on a global scale. It's not just about terrorism. These systems are used for economic espionage, political surveillance, and more. So we have seen very briefly how the CIA operates from behind the curtain using tools most of us didn't even know existed. Whipping Angel, x Score, Pine Gap, all of these systems represent power. But what does it mean for us? It means that our devices, our conversation, our lives are part of a bigger game. The question is, how much control do we really have when agencies like the CIA can monitor and manipulate the digital world around us. So if you found this video insightful, make sure to subscribe and stay updated. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about these revelations? Is your digital world truly secured? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.